Hello everyone. Just wanted to share real quick my mason bee uh, box. I've just noticed in the last few minutes that the mason bees are already at work. They've already started to emerge and they're already at work. Matter of fact, if we get over here a little closer, you can see these two right here are mating already. Now if you don't know much about mason bees, I really recommend you look into them a little bit. Do a little bit of research on them. They're a great, great pollinator. I, I hate to say this, but they're probably a better pollinator than our honeybees. Um, to give you an idea, um, you could take a large mature apple tree and it's going to take several hundred honeybees to pollinate that tree, right? Well, in the mason bee world, it takes six, that's right, only six mason bees to pollinate that mature tree. And uh, they're relatively easy to keep. Um, I don't have to do anything for them but set these blocks of wood out. Um, I have some videos on making uh, these wooden blocks, and I'm going to put them down in the comments of this post. So if you're interested in checking them out and would like to bring in some mason bees to your place, this is what you need to get set up, some of these blocks. Um, the first year I started to notice them here at the house, um, they were going up in the bottom of my wife's wind chimes over on our deck. And uh, she kept telling me, those bees are going up in there. And I wasn't paying any attention. You know, bees, um, I'm used to bees. So I'm not like everybody else. When you say bee, they jump and start swatting and swinging. And I just didn't pay any attention. And then uh, the next year came along and I started to see them in my uh, wood shop. They were actually in, my, in the shafts of my... Uh, crossbow arrows. Um, I had the ends of them off, off of the arrows, and I could see the bees coming out. And from there, I, I, curiosity got to me and I had to do a little research. And they are mason bees. So to give you a little background, um, these little blocks need to be at least six inches deep. And the reason for that is, is as the female comes in and lays eggs, she'll lay the female eggs, let me see if I get this right, towards the back. And she'll she'll go in the hole, she'll lay an egg, and then she'll go out and work. She'll come back and lay another egg and put it right next to the next one. And as she gets closer to the front, the females turn to males, and then it's males the rest of the way out. So if your block is only four inches thick or deep, then you're liable to have all males the whole depth. So make sure you go six inches deep. Great little bees to have around.